Hello there, I'm the Beast Manager and welcome back to Satisfactory, my friends. Now, uh, today we are going to uh, work a little bit more on our chemical plant, but uh, that's not the only thing we are going to do. We are also going to work in a uh, components factory, but before we get along and do that, as I mentioned in between episodes, I went around the entire network and I uh, pretty much implemented the... Uh, the station design in all of the uh, exits of our, our uh, hypertube network, they, are all, they all look pretty much the same. Uh, some have uh, interesting names, others not so much. But the important part is that this thing now is uh, covered and uh, with names on the tubes. So now I know precisely where I have to go um, to get to the destination that I want to go. So. Let's just get a move towards the uh, Space Elevator Factory uh, so that uh, we can take a look at today's objectives. You have arrived at your destination. Would you look at that? In here we have another uh, station precisely like the other one. So, yeah, like I said today, uh, like I said, my friends, today we are going to be working on our uh, chemical plant a little bit. Can we see it from here? Uh, barely. We can barely see it, but, uh, but that, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Uh, we need to increase the uh, production of a, a few uh, chem. Oh yeah, that thing. Uh, of a few uh, components, namely the plastic, because at least in the in initial stages of the components factory, we are going to need apparently a ton of plastic. Um, so yeah, we might need to go over there and ramp up production a little bit. Now. I don't know if you guys recalled, a few episodes back I said that I wanted to do the components factory right next to the space elevator factory, so that then we could have this uh, road go through the, uh, through like a uh, corridor, right? A uh, tunnel, if you might. Um, I think that is going to look pretty cool, and uh, it's also, uh, also pretty beneficial, because you see, we have a ton of space for uh, truck stops in here. Like, it's it's ridiculous the amount of space that we have, right? Uh, so, uh, most of the materials that we are going to input into our component fa uh, factory, which is going to be right there, uh, most of those things are just markers that, uh, you know, I had the idea while I was doing the uh, stations, so I just went around and I just tagged things so that future me, or in this case present me, would not forget where uh, things should go. But in any case, I think that because we have so much space in there, inputs will be uh, brought into that station over there, brought into the spaghetti floor, from the spaghetti floor go through there into another spaghetti floor, and from there goes upwards. On this side, we might have a couple of uh, truck stops, just so that we have an excuse to build a little bit of a road, right? Uh, and if I'm going to build a road, I'm going to use it. Uh, but uh, the main purpose of this platform right here is going to be a train station, not a truck station, a train station. Now, you have to excuse these machines, this is just so I, once again, I knew what we were going to need to do. Like, for example, I know that we are going to need to build a bunch of stuff. Uh, so, we have these two manufacturers over here, right? Right now, uh, we need, like, the only components that we can kind of manufacture in here, uh, other than the uh, space elevator stuff, is the heavy modular frames and the computer, right? And uh, these things require a ton, and I mean a ton of stuff, most most of which will have to be built in here and not imported. Uh, but uh, yeah, and there is also an other things, such as the motors, which I want to do it over here as well, transferring from the other side over here, uh, the AI, AI limiters, and there is another one, yeah, the circuit boards. So pretty much this is the begin the early things that we are going to fabricate in here these five components the uh, computers modular uh, heavy modular frames AI limiters circuits and the motors and the motors yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of the things that we are going to need over here, uh, but uh, I don't know if you notice, but we are going to need a bunch of plastic for that. We are going to need plastic for the circuit boards, and I believe that we are going to need plastic for the computers. So, and because of that, we are going to need to increase uh, plastic 
production. Uh, right there, that thing is in the way. Of course it is. I'm just trying... Uh, there we go. We can see the platform from here. We are going to need to increase our plastic production a little bit, and then we are going to pick that plastic and we are going to bring it um, up a few levels so that the trucks don't need to go all the way down through that spire. You know, we are going to build the station a little bit um, upwards from the main uh, production floor. And uh, now... Another thing that I would like to do is because we uh, in here are going to make components, components need to be stored so that we can use them, right? So the warehouse is going to be right on top of the uh, export. So uh, yeah, this is like my tags. Uh, I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we are going to align the factory with that one. So they are both perfectly aligned with each other. The production floor there is. However, the warehouse is not going to be aligned. It's going to be right in here on top of the exports. Because uh, in there is going to be imports via train. In here, we are going to have uh, exports via truck. And, uh, you know, exports via train can also be done over there. But uh, truck-wise, we are going to have the export right there. Simply because I thought it would look... Nice. Now let's stop ranting and let's go towards uh, the uh, chemical plant, which is probably the first thing that needs to be uh, upgraded, I think. Now the first thing to happen this episode is that I'm going to change my mind immediately. We're not going towards the refinery area or the chemical plant area because we need to kind of understand the things that we need in here first. So, I'm just going to build the first production floor, in this case I'm going to build the spaghetti floor. And then on top of that, I'm going to build part of the first production floor. And why, what do I mean by part is that we are not going to limit on this side, because, uh, well, there is a little bit of a... F well, there is a little bit of a fart cloud, and unfortunately we can't remove it. Uh, it's... God damn it! Stop it! Jesus. Um... We are not going to be able to remove this fart cloud, unfortunately. So our uh, our bottom platform and uh, our spaghetti floor might be a little bit uh, uh, hampered by this ugly thing in the way. But we can then build over the fart clouds and uh, if we need more space for the production area. And then we, gen we can just cover all of this with just walls and pretend it doesn't exist. Even though if we come close enough will be affected uh, by those mm, nasty nasty gases so once again let don't get stuck let's uh, get rolling with this this is actually pretty simple to build i'm I just i'm just going to build like a, a temporary stair upstairs and then i'm going to start building because you know the, this part is not that complicated all right my friends this is going to be our very first production floor uh, we are high enough that the uh, nasty gases do not why did I open my mouth? I was like, hmm, I came over here, right? I went through all of this thing and I thought to myself, well, I'm high enough and no damage. I just didn't went to this particular pixel. In, like, where is that pixel in particular? Like, in here. Because, you know, I kind of want to expand this a little bit more because uh, this is just a 10 by 10 platform. It's not that big. That's fine. I mean, I can handle a little bit of damage. It's totally fine. I'm pretty certain that I'll take damage like... Oh, that's a, that's like a... Okay. I, I should probably be careful not to kill myself, but uh, yeah, uh, it's going to suck a little bit. Uh, is there we are going to have zones where we are going to incur on some damage, but uh, luckily the gas does not affect the machines and therefore I'm totally fine with that. I don't care. Uh, it's whatever. But uh, yeah, what are we going to fabricate in here first? Uh, this is going to be one of our manufacturing floors and therefore we'll have to select one of the items that we need, right? I think we are going to start with the one that takes plastic in, the computer, so that I can have an excuse to go to the other side. If we go for this one, then I won't have an excuse. I will have to set up uh, steel production thingies and I don't want to do that. Not yet, at least, okay? Uh, I, I, I kind of want to go and uh, work on the plastic thingy, uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to need a bunch of stuff. Uh, so how about we transfer one of these bad boys up... Oh, wait. What am I doing? I can't. I don't have the modular frames, the heavy modular frames set up. That's what this thing is for. Uh, because the uh, amount of modular frames that I have right now, it's very limited. We only bought 50 of those. Uh, okay. 
once again I changed my mind and this time I didn't even need to cut the uh, video off to think about it no we need to do the heavy, heavy uh, modular frames first uh, so that we can build more stuff right so yeah kind of uh, one of those things uh, sure okay let's transfer these upstairs and see what we need uh, to produce uh, these items uh, well, my friends, one thing I can tell you, I'm just trying to lay down the machines that I think I'm going to need, and, uh, boy, this thing is going to be complicated. This thing is going to be very, very complicated, okay? Okay? So, I've been thinking about this, and maybe we are not going to build the encased industrial beams in here, because, uh, uh, yeah, this is, this is getting ridiculous. Uh, this needs so many materials that if we are going to build the dedicated infrastructure for all of them uh, Yeah, we would need like five plants just to get everything in here. It's like wow uh, it, it, Yeah, I'm out of words because uh, you know just the modular frames need some stuff Like this which in turn needs more stuff like this which in turn needs more stuff like this. Y yeah Yeah, it's it's getting ridiculous so, we are going to do things like this. I don't recall how many uh, beams I'm making, however, I'm pretty certain I'm not making more than 10 per minute, that much is for certain, which means we would only get two heavy, form, heavy modular form, frames per minute, that is not good. I need to go back to my um, steel mill and uh, verify how much stuff in the reality we are actually making, so that then I can uh, uh, think uh, on uh, what is the limit for our production because uh, Yeah, not going to happen in here that much. I can tell you so I will see you guys at the steel mill All right, my friends. We are here at the steel mill finally uh, Now let's determine how much production we really have I know I know that at a time I really didn't uh, like uh, make these super uh, um, Effective in the sense of making a bunch of these things. Oh, we have to be making more than 10 per minute We have to be making more than 10. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. Oh, okay Okay, that's cool Okay, with seven machines at six per minute. We are making roughly 42 uh, Encased industrial beams per, per minute. It's like nothing great But at the same time is nothing uh, it's not bad. It's not as bad as I thought. Now, I said roughly because... Uh, here we go. Uh, because over here, uh, this thing is not working at 100% uh, efficiency. Uh, from time to time, it goes idle because... Um, I don't know, maybe this thing has not yet filled, uh, filled up to its... I, I doubt that. I think it, we have a, a lack in production. I probably miscalculated something. So, if I can find the uh, missing link or the weakest link, I can say goodbye to it or upgrade it uh, so that we get those 42 uh, items. Now, in the future, what we can do, once we have access to Conveyor Belts Mark IV, we can just come over here and upgrade, uh, like, everything to go uh, full throttle, right? Uh, instead of um, expanding the factory, right? Uh, but uh, now let me just see if I can find why in the hell that thing is not working at full capacity when past me did such a great job at uh, aligning all of these things ah okay the problem goes deeper than i thought the steel ingots are not being produced fast enough hmm so this is not the problem from here hmm, let me go and uh, verify the downstairs i think i know what the problem is we don't have enough throughput of materials and therefore we are not producing uh yeah that's what i thought we don't have enough coal because we are using some coal to fuel the trucks blah 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 yeah that must be it that must be the issue uh-huh wait what oh yeah that's the issue a lack of a coal uh how the hell am i gonna solve that I bet you, my friends, I bet you the problem is that we have a Mark II belt somewhere. Because, uh, well, when it comes to throughput, we have enough materials, we have enough stuff. Like, these stations are never completely empty, so it's not a problem of the trucks bringing the stuff in here. It is a problem that the stuff is not getting fast enough to where it needs to be. And uh, taking into consideration that we are pro 
probably not using the 270 uh, belt to its full capacity. I betcha that there is... Yeah, look at this. This station is almost full. What the hell? What gives? We are transporting so much. So that, that must be the issue. I betcha. Uh, trying to figure out which belt is the faulty belt in here is kind of complicated. However, I can see that uh, one of this is not going fully. This one over here. Can I can I get into advan an advantageous position? Thank you. Yeah, one of these belts, this one, is not going fully. Why? Because it's getting splitted that way, I bet you. I bet you that's the problem. And, uh... Yeah. This is kind of strange. We have full belts over here. I'm pretty certain I, I calculated things correctly. Why are we not getting the full stuff over there? Because uh, the, 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 the second... Like, this thing is not full, like, for two or three seconds, okay? So that can't be the problem. Well, my friends, I looked and looked and looked, and I can't find a freaking issue. Like, the belt arrives into the first splitter full in all of the sec on, in all of the um, uh, groups of machines. I read the, I redone the calculations, and the calculations are correct. So I, I don't, I don't know. Well, we'll have to pretend that we are making 42 uh, encased beams per minute or whatever. Let's, I, I don't know. Let's pretend that we are doing everything 100% efficiently, okay, my friends? Okay, once we have the better belt, everything is going to be fine, everything is going to be great and awesome and beautiful. So we are just not going to care too much. And now, uh, before I get along and do anything, I need to find which car uh, is using this path over here, because I need to redo this path. This path goes through this station and activates it, and I don't want that. I don't want that, so I need to redo this path uh, so that I can actually use this station uh, to export uh, the in encased industrial beams. However, uh, oh look, I think I'm going. I'm about to find out which car is it. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, with 42 encased industrial beams being produced per minute, it's yeah, it's this one. Which path are you using? Can I see? Uh, load path. Iron to Foundry 3. I have no f I have no clue. I absolutely have no clue. Uh, but uh, yeah, with only 42 being produced per minute, we can only have uh, 4 machines, meaning we can only produce 8 modular frames per minute. Uh, that's less than ideal. Well, instead of wasting time with that, uh, that thing over there with the truck, redoing the... the yeah, n no, no. No, we are going to ignore this station over here, and instead we are going to use this one. It, it is empty, there is nothing in here, uh, so we just need to bring the stuff from upstairs into this thingy and uh, utilize the empty station over here, and try not to get overrun by our own trucks, set up a uh, proper pathing, and uh, the in-case industrial beams are going to be done, or at least 40 per minute. It's going to, it's not, it's not, like I said, it's not great, but it's going to work. Uh, Hopefully. So, yeah, time to get the uh, thingies uh, uh, downstairs. Uh, actually, we just need to use one of these. I don't I don't even need two of them, but oh well, it is what it is. Uh, so, where are the uh, industrial beams? The industrial beams, it's this one. So, what we do, we go like so, bam, bam. Come to the hole, come on. Sli slide it in there. We go like so, and then we connect the belt from here into here. Pretty simple. And there you go, my friends, now we have the beams going downstairs and being transported into the other factory. Uh, so, right now we are exporting stators and beams, ain't the... There is a Mark 1 somewhere. There is a Mark 1 somewhere, that speed it doesn't, uh, doesn't fool anyone. The thing is not flowing correctly, meaning I screw up somewhere. I always do this, my friends. I, you know what? I'm tired of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just tired. I'm always making this mistake and then it's costing me. There you go. Belt replaced. So from now on, I'm only going to build belts 3. Jesus, and this one is also Mark 1. God damn it. In any case, in any case, disregard that, my friends. Uh, yeah, we now have the beams over here. So, uh... I just need to set up a uh, transportation from here to there. I probably should start there, uh, come all the way over here and then go back because I still have a couple of things to do there. That's fine. Uh, I also made a small elevator from the top to the bottom because uh, just for quick uh, traveling thingies. 
uh, yeah, I have to go back. No, my, my friends, before I go back, I, uh, I discovered one thing. If you W key while looking forward, you gain more speed. And uh, yeah, let's say in the, if you, for example, if you jump into the wrong um, hyper tube, you can actually reverse your travel and uh, just go back the way you uh, came. Let, let's just wait for my uh, pioneer to go over there and I'll show you. Quite simple, right? You go, oh no, I jumped into the wrong hole, this is terrible. If you look backwards and you W key, you can reverse your uh, travel um, uh, direction, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we now need to select one station in particular to uh, receive those materials. Uh, now, I'm a little, I'm, I'm regretting a little bit the way I uh, set up uh, this thing, because uh, given that I'm now going to do things this way, I would rather just have one row for uh, the stuff from, uh, into the other side and the other rows for this plant. But uh, that's not meant to be, we're just going to make uh, absolute mayhem out of this. Now, the most important question of them all, what color am I going to paint? the things that relate to that factory. I think that is going to be beneficial to paint not only the trucks like we have been doing so far, right? My truck is the yellow one, the uh, the, the trucks from here are the red ones and the trucks from the uh, steel mill are the orange ones. I'm thinking that we should... Pr please tell me that I don't need paint for this. I'm thinking that uh, we are gonna get um, blue... Uh, let me say, select a, a, a nice blue. Okay, so blue and some uh, greenish colors, just the details greenish. I think the blue is going to be the color for the um, component factory stuff. So, beautiful, I don't... or do I have paint on me? That is... come on bro, press the right key please. Uh, no, I don't have paint. Cool, so uh, I'm going to grab one of the trucks from over here, repaint it and uh, just uh, record the path now, because uh, that part is also important and I probably am going to have to redo it five billion zillion times, because um, uh, I'm going to crash against something, the pathing is going to be ruined, and I'm going to have to repeat it countless times, because uh, last time that didn't happen, but I'm pretty certain it's going to happen uh, this time. And I wish the wheels would be painted green, but oh well, uh, it is what it is. Let's get a move on. Fuck me! Oh, 
Well, my friends, uh, yeah, I did pretty much everything correctly except for the final part. I think we can still save this, so I'm just going to go like save path. Uh, in case the industrial beam, come on. In case the industrial beams to space elevator. Okay, hopefully, uh, future me will understand what this means. I'm going to make save and uh, load the path. I'm pretty certain this all is already loaded. And what we are going to do is we are going to leave. We are not going to activate this just yet, right? And then what we are going to do is we are going to select the points we want to keep. We want to keep this one, this one, and that one. All of these points over here. Uh, we can just uh, forget them. I don't think we are using this station for anything, correct? Correct. So we can come over here, edit this node, delete this node, right? And uh, I'm just going to do that for pretty much every node that I don't want. And uh, hopefully uh, the truck won't do anything derpy. And uh, we are actually not deleting any important nodes. Uh, this was really dumb on my part. Really, really dumb. Uh, but I saw, I, I've seen the blue, I, I look, i seen like... Uh, after 10 minutes driving, I, I, I see this thing, right, and I say, oh, finally, here we go, and then I realize I just took a wrong corner, but uh, this seems to be pretty, well, like, easy to understand. You go here, then you go there, then you go there, and then you stop. Seems easy, right? So, hopefully, uh, this thing... Come on, bro. Thank you. This, this is what I want. I just wanted to check. This thing is on uh, full. This is on unload, which means the other one is... Oh, I'm, I'm walking by the map. Stop! Thank you. Uh, the other one is also on unload, meaning we have to beat the truck there. But I'm pretty certain if we take the upper tube, we can actually get there faster than the truck. So we are just going to go over here, enable autopilot and let the truck do its thing. And uh, we, are trying to, we are going to try and race it uh, there. So uh, I think we are going to win because the truck stands no chance against the mighty hyper tube. Well, I'm here at the upper station trying to see if I can spot the blue truck, because uh, here comes the red truck. Uh, but that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, excuse me, sir, did you see in your um, friend by any chance? Because I'm pretty certain the upper tube is fast, but it's not that... It's that one? No, that's a red truck as well. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the blue truck. I just wanted to make sure that uh, this is actually a race and I'm not going there... Uh, by myself for nothing. Okay, little truck, you do your best, okay? You do your best, but uh, in the uh, rabbit and the turtle story, that's a turtle, and I am the rabbit. Uh, wow, apparently this thing is already set to load. I suppose that if you the only connection that this thing has is, uh, you know, the loading ones, it will automatically set itself up uh, to uh, loading then. Uh, Alright, so uh, let's just paint this thing. Bam, it's now painted, and so uh, uh, I'm just going to wait in here for the truck to arrive, and then I'll take the upper tube back uh, to see if the truck reaches its final destination without uh, major problems. But uh, yeah, my friends, let me tell you one thing. This thing is super busy, okay? This entrance right there, this road, is extremely busy. Just look at the amount of arrows that we have. This is Rita. Hey, hello, blue truck. Uh, there is so much movement on this road, it's fantastic, my friends. This thing is turning out to be even better than I imagined it at, uh, when I first built it. It's actually pretty great watching all of the, that movement all the time. Uh, looking at that thing in the distance is pretty funny, my friends, uh, I have to admit. At first I was wondering if it was going to render at such a um, large distance, but yes, it renders. Just not the wheels, uh, or, or in this case, not the wheel animation. Uh, but still, it is coming. It is almost yeah. We will have our very first batch of uh, industrial case beams in no time. And uh, I think that thing is going a little bit too fast for my tape. Bro, you're going a little bit too fast. That's a corner. Okay. You. For a moment, I thought that thing was going to just just fly off the highway. So. The question now is: Will that thing derp out? Are you going to be a derpy boy? Or are you going to behave? Please behave. I really don't want to redo all of this. Please. Okay, okay. It is behaving correctly. And now we have industrial beams over here, which is pretty nice. Now the only thing I have to do is transfer them from here into the other 
uh, factory and uh, we are we're we're done oh boy it feels na it feels good my friends to actually do something uh, like it's like to if last episode we got things done pretty quick this episode we are getting things done pretty slowly let me tell you uh, so yeah I just need to figure out which uh it's not this I'm pretty certain hmm. in any case uh, yeah I'm going to just bring the beams into the other side and uh, at least that is one less problem that we have to deal with Ah, it feels nice, my friends, to have at least one of the things solved. The uh, encased industrial beams are now in the spaghetti floor, ready to be sent upstairs. I'll probably just go into the spaghetti floor, turn it around and come through here and go uh, upstairs using a lift. Cool! So, one of the many inputs is now done, right? We can scratch this one off of of our bingo card we still have uh, three additional numbers that we need to uh, uh, get into our card before we can call in a bingo right uh, steel pipes just like this and this not like terrible this uh, uh, not good not good really like no N no not good uh, now, luckily we are already inputting a little bit of coal that we're getting from there. I'm pretty certain, I'm like 99% certain that we are producing more coal than we are ne requiring over in the space factory. So we can divert a little bit into here. Now, how much? That's an interesting uh, question. Let's see, we need 30. 30 times... Uh, okay, so we are going to set up uh, this thing as if we are going to produce 10 per minute. We know we are not, but we are, that's how we are going to set up, so that in the future, once we ramp up production in our steel mill, uh, there is a little bit of a um, uh, margin for maneuvering over on this side, right? So, uh, yeah, we need uh, 5 machines, that means 150 steel pipes per minute. Oof, oof, 150. Oh boy. That is not bueno. So that's seven and a half. Uh, thingies of these. Not great. That that that's less than ideal. Uh, come on, come on, game, game. Give me the calculator, please. Uh, so thirty times seven point five. That's two hundred and twenty-five uh, steel ingots per minute. Oh boy, things are starting to get ridiculous just for one thing. And uh, to get, uh, not that one, uh, to get the 225, game, please allow me to do what I want to do. In order to get the 225 divided by 45, we need five of these foundries, which means, uh, yeah, we are going to need 225 uh, coal and iron per minute. The iron is easy. We still have deposits that we have not tapped uh, below the space factory. And the coal, I'm really not certain if we are going to be able to provide that much, but uh, 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 I'm going to assume yes. I'm going to assume the answer is yes. So the seal pipes, not a major concern, this is kind of done. The screws, 200 per minute, like that's easy. That's, I mean, it's not easy, but it's not hard also, it's like... 40 divided by 200, it's precisely the opposite piece manager, do your math correctly please. Uh, that's 5 machines of these, meaning 50 rods, which is like... Uh, 3 and something, 4 machines of these. Like, nothing out of the ordinary, like, that's only 2 uh, smelters, uh, that's easy to achieve. So the screws themselves also not an issue, and then the modular frames, we are going to need a bunch of those, and uh, yeah. It's going to be interesting, that much I can tell you. Uh, so, instead of just doing this math all alive and uh, wrongly in my head, I'm just going to uh, try and uh, put down all the machines that we are going to need to see how much Tetris we actually need to do. Uh, well, my friends, I got to admit, I am stupefied, okay? by the, the, the realization that, that like, j just look at this, okay? So, in order to get the 50 modular frames that we need per minute, okay, this is just for the modular frames, we still need to tackle the steel pipes and the screws. Hmm? We need 25. 20 freaking 5 assemblers. Uh, g g yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, like, uh, that's a big no, but wait, there is more. 
because uh, as you might imagine, uh, if we are going to go for those kinds of numbers, we need 15 for the plates. Uh, yeah, yeah, and 6.25 uh, for the rods. Uh, that is not as bad. Not as bad, right? The rod line is not is actually not terrible, um, but but uh, yeah, just one thing. Uh, this is using the uh, steel alternative recipe, of course, uh, because it's easy to set up. Ju just that, and uh, for uh, fitting that those machines, we just need 1.6 uh, foundry, so not bad, not bad. But going back into the bad stuff. Uh, yeah, in order to get uh, uh, these uh, modular uh, frames going, we need uh, 15 of these bad boys, okay? And then, we I need to stay away from that, we need 22.5 of these bad boys producing the plates, and uh, to provide for that, we need 22.5 well smelters. Uh, but uh, that's not all, right? We need more, we need uh, screws, so in order to get them screws, where are them? Here they are. Uh, we need also 22.5 screw making machines. Because, uh, uh, yeah, that's actually pretty terrible. Now, I pondered using the steel variant. Oh, damn it, that's not what I meant. Uh, this, this is what I meant. I pondered about uh, using this one because it produces a bunch more screws. Um, but, uh, yeah, we would need to set up more steel stuff. Uh, it would be better. It would be better. But at the same time, I don't know. And this is the calculation for the basic stuff, yeah. 22.5 of those thingies, uh, using the um, steel recipe uh, that we are going to use for that one. We just need 4.68 rods being produced. And uh, for that we only need 1.56 uh, foundries going. So the foundry part is not that bad, uh, but the, the regular recipes are... Yeah. Yeah, that's... I mean, I think I'm well, I, I will be forced to use the, this recipe. This one. Because otherwise, this thing is just impossible. Like, we need 900 screws per minute for this thing. 9 freaking hundred, my friends. Yeah, using this one, it, it will be far better. Let, let's, I didn't even thought about it too much. 900 uh, divided by 48, I think. Uh, not 48, 260, 260, that's the correct ratio, 3.4, yeah, 3.4 machines, that's actually far, far more, more feasible, that would mean that we only need uh, 20 something beams, which in turn would mean that we would only need, let's say, 120 to 40 of those things, uh, it's, I mean, it would be better, it would be far better, uh, but uh, but yeah, it's it's ridiculous, my friends. This is going to be really. I, I my mind can't even comprehend the numbers that I have just uh, calculated. So I'm still a little bit in shock. My friends, the only solution for this problem that I can see is that uh, we need to find alternatives. We need to find that alternative recipes, which means going into the world and exploring, because these are ridiculous numbers. Twenty-five machines to make ten. Like every mo modular frames per minute. Are you are you joking, game? Like never in a million years. And the problem with this thing, like because we are going to need 25 freaking machines, is that uh, like the alternate that we found is not that much better. I and in my opinion, is even worse. Like the uh, no, like. No, I, well, this is, the 25 for this one, I don't care. The, I just need to find better alternative for the reinforced plates, uh, the, like, other things, like the, these plates over here, right? Jesus fucking Christ. Like, yeah, I need to find some better alternatives as for some of these recipes, because uh, these are ridiculous numbers. Uh, like, I, I, I can't even, no. I, no. I, no. Okay, my friends, new plan, okay? Because here's the thing, I kind of wanted to do things a little bit in reverse, get this set up so that we could uh, easily get into the plastic and stuff like that uh, for research purposes, so that we could unlock guns to go and explore. And now we need to explore to set that thing up. And that means I really need to rush uh, the gun stuff. So I'm going to go back to my uh, beginner's base, my starter base. I'm going to grab as much gunpowder as I uh, can 
I'm going to go back into the blast factory then and I'm going to try and brute force my way into guns so that we can go and explore with a little bit of safety. Like I'm not scared about the like those lion looking thingies, those doggo that sometimes attack us. Uh, I'm scared about the freaking ginormous spiders, okay? I'm not going to go through that uh, trauma again. Uh, no, I refuse. So uh, let's see, can we get guns? It would be pretty nice if we could if we could get guns. Okay, so in order to get the smokeless powder, we need the 50 plastic and 100 the uh, gunpowder. Yeah, let's do that. I already have the plastic. I was thinking about going back, but if we can uh, get it in here, why not? Uh, where are the freaking guns? Oh, here it is, the rifle. So we need 50 smokeless powder and... Uh, which needs gunpowder and plastic. We can brute force that. And some motors and rubber, we can do that. And rewards are the rifle and the ammo, which we will then once again brute force. And uh, that's pretty much it. Okay. Okay, it's not that far. It's not that far, okay. Uh, so, let's see, can I brute force my way into some smokeless powder? Let's see, what do we need to make that? Um, where is the smokeless powder? I just unlocked that, didn't I? Yes, smokeless powder, and it should get... Where can I make that? Don't you tell me that I have to make that in the refinery, that would be uh, strange. But not unheard of, yeah. Say what? I need heavy oil residue and black powder, my brain is... Okay, this is going to be complicated, but sure. Alright my friends, so we are back at our chemical plant, uh, now with a bunch of uh, gunpowder in hand, I know it's not a lot, but uh, it's... It's going to make... it's going to be enough, right, for us to get what we want, so uh, time to get that uh, smokeless powder going, and now this is a temporary setup, so, um, you know, you'll like to excuse the ugliness of uh, everything, but uh, we need this uh, uh, refuse, the uh, heavy indust industrial oil, one, two, I think in here is good enough, bam, there we go. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to fit one of these bad boys in here. Of course not. Why would I be able to do that? That would be just awesome. And uh, no, I don't have don't have space for that. But in any case, I'm just going to put uh, this stuff in here, right? Connected with the belt from here. Come on, into there. It's going to be ugly. It doesn't really matter. In here, we're going to have the smokeless powder. And from there, it goes into another storage, a temporary one, of course, but a uh, storage nonetheless. There we go, bam, bam, bam. We just need some power, and we, we actually have power going through that thing right now. There we go. Cool. So, uh, it's even going to help us out, because uh, it's going to clear the line of uh, heavy industrial oil, and it's going to make us uh, a little bit more plastic. So, yeah, we now that have that uh, smokeless powder thingy, so let's just make a mem and see what else do I need it? I completely forgot. Uh, let me just see. Sulfur, the uh, guns, I need uh, the motors. And that thing, okay, while that thing is making is uh, being fabricated, I'm just going to grab some motors so that we are ready to get uh, the um, uh, Pew Pew rifle. Alright my friends, now that I'm back with the motors, we have produced almost 100 smokeless powder. Can we get two more? Can we get two more? Yes, we can. Beautiful. So let's take a look. What did we need uh, to get this thing? Oh, beautiful. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. We finally have rifles and uh, that thing, inflated pot pocket damage. I only need... What is that? Circuit boards. Oh, it's good to know. Uh, that thing is going to be mighty useful. Uh, equipment thingy. Equipment uh, production thingy. Where are you? Uh, uh, equipment workshop. What do I need to make a, 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 a boomstick? Hello? It's not in... Oh, it is. It is in here. We need 10 rubber. And that's it. Okay. We have rubber right here. Right in here. Look at this. Bam. Rubber. And now, we have a gun. I can't... Oh, my lord. We are finally safe. We are fi We are finally safe from those uh, bastards. There we go. Craft me one of these. Ah, uh, I have gun and ammo. What do we need? This and this. 
Uh, sure. Or I can just uh, like uh, where are the assembler? Assembler thingy. Can I can't I fit you? Come on, I can fit you in here. Don't you lie to me? I know I can. Uh, 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 uh. Rifle ammo. I need the copper and I need the this and I need some power. So let's go like this. Bam! And by the way, my friends, all of these, as you might imagine, ultra uh, temporary. Uh, it's just that I kind of want to have a little bit of ammo before I go into the uh, uh, world uh, and, they, and they get myself murderized by a bunch of uh, spiders. So now, we can uh, go into the spiders and do uh, this. We have a gun. Without a lot of ammo, but we can shoot them now. Mm -hmm. So now we can go into the world and uh, hunt down these bastards, for example, without having to go next to them and uh, bash them in the head. Now, these guys and the other doggos, not super scary, right? But um, the, the, the freaking spiders are scary. Those freaking... No! No! Leave me alone! No, I don't. I don't have to listen to you. You're making me crazy. Now, my friends, I know that in this episode we were a little bit on all over the place, but the uh, shocking realization that uh, we need 25 machines to make a freaking modular frames made me uh, a, a tad bit confused. My, my brain could not process that uh, information, so we had to course correct ourselves a little bit. And uh, I'm glad we did it, because uh, now we have guns. Uh, probably not the most efficient gun ever in the is like uh, I find amazing that in the far future uh, where humanity go into space the better the best thing they can come up is this right but oh uh, well it's uh, it's something it's something right we shouldn't complain too much so um, yeah now I, I just need to like be in here for a little bit uh, input the um, ingredients manually into the machine and make myself a bunch of ammo. After I have all the ammo in the world, I don't need to, like... I, I, we don't need to automate this just yet, right? 300 rounds seems like a lot. Now, my friends, one of the final things uh, that we are going to do in this episode, given that I am already, uh, you know, making this long enough, uh, is just taking a look at the one thing that I have also done in here, in our spire, I completely forgot about this, by the way, only once I came in here did I realize I have done this. Uh, so I have added another upper, upper tube just to serve as an elevator to send us into the top floor, because, uh, you know, it's a little bit tedious going up uh, this ramp all by myself, you know, every single time. And uh, I made a small amount of modifications over here, I made a roof, and... Oh, yeah, I made a roof, and now we have a, uh, a place over here that we are going to use in the future, because I know there are drones in the game, and now I don't know how big they are, but I know I'm going to need a place to put them, because this is going to be the location for our chemical refinery, right? Right, so if we want to use drones, I was thinking maybe on the top of the spire would be pretty cool, even if we can only have like two stations, uh, we can put drones uh, in other places. I just thought it would be uh, pretty neat if we uh, place the drones in here, right? Not only that, we now have a direct path to the sidewalk in uh, of the road, uh, that leads us directly in here. Uh, if we go through here, like as you can see, right, we connect straight into the road through here. I made a small control station over here, which is not yet uh, done. I kind of want to put like uh, stuff that makes it look like uh, we are monitoring production of X amount of stuff. It, uh, it's just for like filling up this space that was empty, and I think it looks really cool when the truck goes through here below this uh, little bit of a control station, right? Uh, so yeah, and uh, yeah, we have the roof and uh, some. Uh, uh, glass roofs just to let the, the sunlight come in and whatnot. So, yeah. I think it looks pretty cool, even though it's not yet done. And uh, the sidewalk, by the way, I'm not going straight uh, upwards on the inside, just because I kind of want to uh, give it a little bit of detail, right? And so we have the sidewalk that goes through the side of the spire, just to give it some texture so it's not a ginormous block. And if we, uh, over time, do other small details, eventually this thing is going to look pretty neat. But, uh, yeah, my friends, I think I rented for long enough and we, like, we we got, the, like, nothing done this episode. We got some steel beams in here and I have a gun now. And that's it. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, next episode we are going to do some exploration, try to find a bunch of uh, alternate recipes so that uh, hopefully we'll have a better time setting up our uh, modular frame thingy. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to be a ridiculous build that, uh, well, we'll have to do because uh, I kind of want to have 10 things per minute. So if we have to do that, we have to do that. But hopefully we'll be able to find a way to not do that and have uh, easier uh, time doing the things that we want to do and uh, as you can see I am rambling uh, again so I'm just going to cut myself in here so my friends with all of this said oops wrong key as per usual I hope that you've enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so please and that you are enjoying the series so far if you are please consider subscribing and help the channel grow but in the meantime this is the base manager standing out Mm, bye bye.